If you're just tuning in, my name is Justin and this is Shed some R6. We're doing some stuff to the bike today to get it to where I can start vlogging and start riding again because it's been about two weeks and I'm dying without being able to ride. We're going to pick up exactly where we left off on the last video because it's been about 20 seconds since I clicked that button the last time to divvy this up. Now the space between the episodes for you guys, I haven't decided the schedule for recording yet. That should be something I'm coming up with. But it's not some, it, I just haven't figured it out yet. I'm gonna grab a drill so this is a little quicker. They are some fine threaded bolts. All right, now I did have this filter out about two weeks ago and kind of banged all the bugs out because I was in here anyway and I figured I might as well do it. I'm not sure if, how well you can see this, but it's pretty dirty. I've had the bike for two years. I've never cleaned it. I'm not even sure how often it should be cleaned, but we're gonna get that done today. I am pretty excited to see how much better the bike runs because there is a lot of crap in that. I'll take a picture of this and put it in here just because I'm not sure if you can see, but it's pretty bad. All right. The cleaner I got for this filter is this. If I remember, I'll leave a link in the description. It is the 995050. The other one had a spray oil, like a squirt bottle. I, I didn't want to apply it that way. I wanted to do the actual like drip down each edge. But I'm gonna read how long to let this sit and then we'll get to it. All right, so we have to spray it and let it sit for 10 minutes. But we cannot let the cleaner dry on the filter. And I did watch a video on this just to be sure beforehand, but it doesn't hurt to read. Because I've never cleaned one of these before. So let's get away from the bike and do this because I'm sure this cleaner isn't the best for paint. I really hope this mic is still working for you guys. I would hate to record all this footage and have it not work. I would use a tripod, but I'm just trying to get this squirt so it's done. Here's the filter. I'm just gonna liberally cover it in this cleaner just to loosen up any trap. Then we're gonna let it sit for 10 minutes. All right, we will let that sit for 10 minutes and then come back. All right, it is 10 minutes later and we are going to get started. I mean, it hasn't quite been 10 minutes, but I think it'll be okay. I think a lot of this will come out. I think a lot of stuff is gonna come out of this filter. We just have to wash the inside to the ground. I think it was supposed to be lukewarm water. I don't think you're supposed to use hot water. I don't remember why.
Now we just kind of tap this off, try and get any excess water out. I guess it's not really gonna do much. Now we just leave it out of here, dry in the sun. And while that's drying, we can work on some other parts of the bike. All right, so while that, while that filter is drying, we're gonna do a little bit more to the bike. I switched away from the drift just because of the quality. I just feel it's really crappy and you guys really can't see much. So this is on the iPhone 7 with the iPhone 7 mic, which I'm not sure how exactly that is because the only time I've used it was at the shooting range. And I know when we were 25, 30 feet away from the mic, you could still hear us like really easily. So I'm sure it won't be too bad for you guys. Just trying to figure out what to start on next. I figure we might as well get this back tire off and get started on that. It is going to be a little difficult because I am trying to do this one handed now. Or sockets. Sockets work too. You just have to pick the right huge socket. Can you imagine if your axle nut was that big? That's for like a bulldozer. Like, what would you use that for? If you have any idea what that would be used for, throw it in the comments because I would really like to know. There's a few. That looks about right. I know my guessing today isn't the best. And there we are. That is exactly what we need. So to get this back tire off, we just have to loosen the axle nut. We have to loosen this caliper. And we will also loosen the chain tensioners. I know that's pretty common information, but if there's one person out there that me showing this can help, I would like to show you at least. Which is the last time I put this on, I used a pretty big wrench, so it's torqued a little harder than it's supposed to. But it hasn't been eroding since. I just kind of. Which for now, we'll leave that on until we get this other stuff loosened. And not smash my hand in the process. Alright. Um, I will sit you guys down for just a second. I am going to take off the chain guard. Just because we're going to need it off. And I figured we might as well just take it off now. If I remember correctly, it's just a bolt here. And then here, then a little body screw here. Not really a bolt or a screw, just plastic. Which sometimes they're a pain in the ass, but this one is actually really easy. It just comes right out. You just kind of twist that and then it just pulls right out. And I just have to grab a, what I'm assuming is a 10 for these. Sorry if this footage is a little shaky. The problem with using the iPhone is no tripod. Because I'm not gonna... You know what, let's just finish this. There we go. All right. All the bolts are out. Now we just have to get this off. Which the last time I took this off, I kind of just kind of worked it around until it finally popped up. If you move it around enough, you'll kind of find a spot. And it's pretty flexible, so you can kind of just pop it over what you need to. But you can't really reef on it, because otherwise you're going to break it. And the last time I did it, I took this off. I've always wondered what it's like. But I've always saw YouTube videos where people are trying to do everything one-handed because of recording in the other hand. Now I know what that feels like. 
sometimes just if you don't already make videos just try recording taking something apart with one hand just to see what it's like because it's actually pretty interesting all right that'll make that a lot easier i have to pop that out and slide it pretty much right out and that exposes the chain i just figured seems how we're doing the back tire might as well just get that out of the way because we are changing the chain after all at some point i don't know if it'll be this video or the next one there is the fully exposed chain and i did get a blue one last time which i thought was pretty cool because the blue was nice when it was clean and the chain just it started out stretched unevenly it it stretched out like prematurely i would say and the master link that i did last time it didn't really hold up the way i would like it to but that is why i got a few extra master links this time just in case and there is a chance i do have to run run downtown to get a chain riveting tool i have one that i used last time the threads kind of stripped out of it i think i might be able to get it to work Pretty sure I can. I don't know, if not, there might be one in the toolbox. Hopefully I don't have to run back downtown. I wanna show you something. That green light, that green right there is Savior. It won't be as easy to get the video with the Rebel, just because the constant moving of the tripod. I mean, the phone works pretty easy in your hand. It's just not as steady and it's kind of shaky for you guys I'll see how the rebel does if it really doesn't do what I want it to with this lens at least I'll go back to the phone the reason I want to switch to the rebel is because the mic I'll be able to plug the mic in so you'll have some better audio and I don't really feel like dropping my phone and busting it I was gonna put a case on it before I left the house but I forgot so we'll just have to make do. All right, now we're on the Rebel, and now we can actually get this tire off. I didn't loosen up the chain adjusters very much. I just slightly, but I think we'll be fine. Pull that axle out. Which I will sit here. And I have to drop the disc out of the caliper. And swing that up out of the way just so it's not marring up the rim. over there you guys can see and I'm gonna going to get this out of the way and depending on how long this video is getting I might see you on the next one yeah let's just do that I'll see you on the next one guys <laughs> 